All right, so in a post-fight interview uh, with Shafira, the Atomic Spider, Munyai, uh, a difficult fight for you, more difficult than maybe you anticipated? Not really. I expected him to bring that kind of fight, and it wasn't difficult. I was, it was one of the most relaxed fights that I've ever had, okay. to be honest with you. Maybe on the fence and everyone was looked so difficult, but on my side in the ring, I'll work whenever I want to work, whenever I want to relax, I relax. That's what was happening. It was no difficult fight at all. I think what, what I found disappointing in this was that we had spoken in the pre-fight interview about you having three fights and then getting your SA title, but you didn't get your SA title. Hey, that's so... Hey, I don't know what's happening, because I knew that uh, I heard that the, fight, the, the rules are three fights, but finding out going to the rules and the regulation, they said uh, it's three fights for ladies and five defenses for a man. So I still have two more defenses, which is a must now. You have to defend then two more times in this case for you in your case uh what do you what do you what do you think of your next two opponents who are they going to be number one like i said i'll fight number one let's see who is number one then i take him the only thing that is going to be boring for me if it's somebody that i fought before is coming to be number one that's why it's going to be a boring thing there's nothing to prove there mm. so number one who's number one at the moment <laughs> i think it's Lusanda. i know you want to talk about that fight finally this fight is here it's been a fight that has been talked about for ages. I remember <clears throat> the days of featherweight, there have been talks about this fight. It didn't happen. Hopefully this time it's going to happen. And then I'm saying to, the, to Lusanda, I know he works hard. He's a good fighter. So my message is to the promoters who want to put this on. It's two incredible uh, fighters meeting, former world champions, which is very rare to find former world champions fighting for the SA title. I'm a legit champion. He's a good fighter, he's a legit champion as well. He's proven it that because he went down and he come back again, he's number one, which makes, a, which makes it a big fight by just that. You know what I mean? So I feel like a promoter who's going to honor us. Come with good money. Lusanda, put all your tackles. I'll put the SA tackle. Whoever wins, if possible, take the whole pass. I put my pass on, you put your pass on. Let's get it going. If you've got that confidence. When you say put your pass down, right? I mean, to have you two in the ring, this will have to be one of the highest paid SA title fights, right? I think it must be that way. That's what I'm saying to <clears throat> the promoter, to the, the message I'm sending to the promoter is this, whoever want to put this on must be willing to pay, right? And also, uh, Lusanda bring his titles uh, on the table as well so that it must be a good fight. And whoever wins those titles must get the ratings maybe on the BA or the whatever major world title it is, you know? And you, don't, you mentioned promoters, so there might be a couple of people out there that ha can put this fight on. Should this fight go down to the Eastern Cape? Is that fine with you? It's planet Earth, right? So I don't have a problem. Anyway, as long as the promoter is willing to pay, I don't have a problem. But their good vibe is going to be either Golden Loves or Joy for Joy. They do their, prom they do their fights very professionally. It's also attractive. So you but if you want to take it, if you want to take it to Eastern Cape, let them put money. I don't have a problem. I can fight anyway. So the news, and if you follow the news articles, Lusando Comanisi says that he didn't want to fight in the Eastern Cape again. Uh, and his promoter also made a comment on a written article saying that they would get him fights in Johannesburg. So I know that you said that you'd be willing to go down to East, the Eastern Cape, but if it happens in Joburg, I mean, that must be better for both of you guys. Yeah, that is our home. We've been here for ages now. Lusando has been here in Gauteng for... Almost all his career now. Same with me. I've been here for ages. So let it be here in Gauteng. It's a, it's, I mean, it's a big fight. It's a big fight. And it needs to be in the center of everything, which is Gauteng. Okay, so it's a realistic conversation to have now. Like, obviously, you had your plans and Lucinda had his plans. But now it's realistic that this fight can actually happen next. I'm, I'm not looking at any other opponent at the moment. The fight is Lucinda. Like I said on the previous interview, like, I fight number one. If Lucinda is now... Number one, why not? That means if I don't take him, that means I'm scared of him, which is I'm never scared. The move and that you pitch it on. There were people that were saying that you need to do a rematch or the winner between you and Komenisi must fight in Boya. I mean, what is your thoughts on those comments? For what? Boya had a beating. I mean, if you go look at that fight, I took round number one, I took round number two. Round number three, I was winning. He caught me with a punch because of being lazy to do things, some things that have, uh, have, he showed me my mistakes. I took round number four. Every round that is looking better, but I'm taking the rounds. Go look at that fight again. Go, go mute the, the, the commentator round number three where I got dropped. I took a count very professionally. Uh, I'll, oh, why am I saying professionally? 
I, on every set three, I was on my knees. I stood there, four, five, six, seven. When he said seven, I stood up, right? He went to say eight. Do you want to fight? I listened to him very clearly because it's the fight is the, the same referee that ref my fight with Azinga. Right, when he went to say to me, should I stop the fight? When I nod my head like this, he went to stop the fight. So I listened to him like, I looked to his eye, do you want to continue? Then I said yes. This time I said yes. I didn't nod my head or anything. I said yes. And then we went on. From there, I was round number four. He came, he was coming forward, but he was not landing anything on the target. The jab, go, go, I'm saying, go look at that fight again. Go look at round number three. Mute Mahasela and listen to and watch the fight and watch the referee. I'm saying I took almost every round unless the round that he dropped me with. And even the round that he dropped me with, I was winning. Let's talk about round number five. I caught him with a clear right and he went to the ropes. He went to hit the ropes. If it wasn't for the rope, he was going to go down. Internationally, they were not going to count that. Right. Internationally, that's a, that's a knockdown. But people are going to say it's a split decision. I was like, split decision. If you, look, if you listen to um, the ring announcer, before he opened the results, he went to say the winner by unanimous decision. He judged the fight himself. He saw that I won every round, unless the round that he dropped me. The punches that he was throwing, they were all landing on the gloves. Nothing was landing. I was just sticking to the strategy of the fight. You know what I mean? So I don't know which fight are they talking about when they say split decision. Hey, there must be a rematch. They mustn't bring politics into boxing. Let it be boxing. Politicians stay into politics, leave boxing, and then let them be fair judges. All right. So, okay, you know, gathering what I've put up, what, I, what, what I've heard from you there is there is only one fight now. And uh, should you fight Kominisi? Should you win the fights against Kominisi? Is there another plan, or is it just one one fight at a time? I don't know. They're like my main goal is to get the SA title. That's all I want. I want to get the SA title international for sure. I mean international fight, and you can see the way I'm displaying the skills here. Yeah? I'm quick at this age. I'm still fast. You can see the punches easy. So we'll see how it goes one step at a time. But what I want, that means if after Lusanda I must take another number one for me to get the SA tackle, then that says to be that. Right, Shapiro, you are one of the most active fighters in the country. As I said to you the last time I pitched up at the gym, I said you probably the most interviewed guy that I interview at the moment. Uh, should this uh, fight against Komenisi happen next, is it going to be a quick turnaround or do you think you're going to have to wait for it? Uh, what I'm saying, I'm saying I'm very happy to the decision that I made to move to Ireland. I think it's the smartest decision that I've done. Because if you look at my, <clears throat> my age and my thing, it was a lot of uh, sitting, sitting for a year and a half, sitting for two years without a fight. But now at least this is what I needed in my career. I was so ring rusty when I got those losses that I had in South Africa. It was not because I'm finished or anything. You know, yeah. All right. I don't want to ask any fight specific questions because until the fight is made, that's when we'll talk about you guys actually physically in the ring and how you guys match up and compare. But as, as for now, it's the right fight to make. This is a post-fight interview from your recent win. So three defenses it is now. Uh, anything you lastly want to say, Chifio? Uh Lastly, I want to say in the Goliath, all my sponsors, uh, Charis Missionary Church for prayers and sponsorship, uh, MR21 Funerals, thanks for the sponsorship for coming on board. Uh, Royal Heritage, thanks for coming on board as well. And Spider Box Fit, thank, uh, thanks to everyone. And then also the the fans. All my fans. Eh? I thought you were going to speak more Venda today. No, and the, the problem is Anich says If you understand Venda, I was going to speak Venda one way. <laughs> Next time, Rudo Shumzaj Venda. I'll try to learn. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> there we go.